Hi, welcome to Barber HQ. If you've ever wondered how a wool duvet is made, let me give you a guided tour and you can see for yourself. So we take wool from local farmers and the wool is in its greasy state, full of all sorts of things, and that has to go up to be graded. So our wool merchant grades out the wool, takes out anything that we don't want, anything too dark, anything too coarse. And then he sends it to a uh, scouring plant. And there are only two scouring plants in the country, and ours goes to Dewsbury. And then it's washed. And if you imagine just the biggest washing machines you have ever seen in the world with lots of vats of water, and the wool goes from one vat into another vat with clean water and then into a third vat with cleaner water and so on and so on until the majority of the lanolin and the dirt and everything else is taken out. It's then dried, baled and sent back to our wool merchant in Halifax. He stores it then for us until we're ready for it. Um, and when we are ready for it, the wool comes down to us in these big red bales and it's heavily, heavily compressed. So there's about 300 kilos of wool in a bale. And when these bales are opened, they really do open with a pop. And uh, you can see here, that this is what's in the bales. So this is the carded wool and it's nice and clean, but it's not really in a state where you can use it for a wool duvet. So it has to go through a few processes before we get it into the duvet itself. So from this state, it is placed into the hopper and the hopper does two things. It opens up the wool from the bale, which is completely compressed, and then it gradually teases the wool out into manageable amounts of wool through a, um, a conveyor belt with large spikes on it, effectively. And it gradually teases out wool and drags that wool slowly into a weighing pan. And the weighing pan does exactly what it says on the tin, it weighs. And we set the weight according to the weight of the duvet that we want. So if we want a heavier weight duvet, we slow everything down, we put more wool into the weight pan. That drops every now and again onto a bed. That bed is fed then into one gigantic comb, or actually it's lots and lots of combs. So the carding machine has lots and lots of drums and on every drum there are needles and that needle gradually teases all the wool out and it teases all the wool out and in that process a lot of uh, bits that were still in the wool from the sheep will drop to the floor so that's a second cleaning process and then eventually very very fine layers of carded wool will come out of the end and be dropped onto a conveyor belt on the top of a cross lapper so it laps the wool backwards and forwards at 90 degrees to each other, every layer 90 degrees. And that builds up layers up to the point where, to the weight that we want it. And as it comes off the cross lapper, we don't touch it. So the wool isn't touched from the hopper right through to the end. It's coming off the cross lapper and it's sandwiched perfectly between two layers of cotton, one top, one bottom. And that sandwich, loose sandwich, is then fed up into the quilting machine. And the quilting machine is just a gigantic sewing machine. And if you have a look, you can see that there are endless configurations of needles. And we place our needles according to the pattern that we want, whether we're doing mattress toppers or duvets. And it sews, just like a giant sewing machine that you have in your house. <laughs> just a big, 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 big version of it each point of this there are obviously operatives watching what's going on so somebody will be watching that the weights are coming out correctly somebody will be watching that the quilting machine is working properly that there aren't any dropped stitches that the stitching is all nice and even that the tension is all nice and even and then the quilted fabric which is in a 200 meter continuous line gets gradually fed through a series of pulleys and rollers under tension into our cutting machine. We set the cutting machine to either do singles, doubles, kings, super kings, and we can set how many we want of each of uh, those sizes. And somebody's at the end of it folding it up. And once it's folded, because it's coming off so fast off this machine, and we can't sew them, we can't finish them as quickly as coming off, we then store them. So they're all stacked up in these crates and uh, from here they will be taken round to the finishing area. So every crate is brought round into this section 
Uh, every duvet is laid out on a table and at this point somebody will visually inspect the duvet make sure that everything is nice and even all the wool is nice and even all the stitching is perfect it will be trimmed if necessary so if there's excess wool at the ed edges that will be trimmed it's weighed every single duvet that comes through here is weighed so we know exactly what weight category it should go into once it's weighed and labeled it then goes across to the binding machine and Karen in the corner then will bind it so seal up the edges put all the labels on pass it across to the finishing and then the final act of producing this is to just put the Bave logo on and pack we produce a lot of duvets obviously in a day not all of these are going to go out one day uh, so they all go into storage and then as the orders come in uh, one of the ladies from the office will pick from the racking, pack it, make sure everything is in the right place, fingers crossed, and put it into dispatch ready to be collected by one of our couriers. And then it's on its way to you.